And welcome everyone to an NCAA.com March Madness postgame Sky Session. I'm Andy Katz. Pleased to be joined by UNLV's Elijah Mitrulong, fresh off the plane from coming back from the upset of the night. 66-63 UNLV takes out San Diego State at Viejas Arena, their first loss of the season. You had 19 in this game. How'd you guys pull it off? Um, well, first off, uh, we know we're gonna have to do it on the defensive side. Um, getting stops. San Diego State is a really good team when you uh, when you mess up, you give them the ball, live ball turnovers. They're great at taking that and making it into points. Um, so we didn't have a lot of those. And then when we did, we got back on defense and made sure they didn't score or they didn't get an easy bucket to get their stuff going. Um, so I think that's what it was. And another thing was we didn't take. We didn't quit, you know. Um, obviously, that was a great arena. It was a great atmosphere against a great team. So we didn't quit, and we just stuck with it, stuck to our guns, and knew what we did, uh, do, did what we had to do, and you know, pulled out the win, thankfully. So all of us pundits thought, okay, yeah. San Diego State already swept Utah State. They already had to go to the pit. They beat Nevada. You know, we're thinking, yeah. okay, there's no way they're going to lose before the Mountain West Conference tournament. What did you see in watching, you know, tape on these guys? That said, yeah. you know what? I think we can beat them. Um, well, when we first played them, man, we only lost by I think four or six points, four or five, six points, and um, and that's a good team. Don't get me wrong, but I mean, I think we match up well with them. You know, um, they obviously have great players. Uh, Malachi, one of them. Um, but uh, I just, I just, we just felt like we shot ourselves in the foot the first game, you know, and, and we actually truly believed it. We didn't just say it just to say it. We actually truly believed it from from the head coach all the way down to the managers, you know. Uh, we all said it, and I think that's what it was. And when, you know, we have nothing to lose. So you go in there, they're, they're the ones that are undefeated. We're not. Um, so we had nothing to lose, you know, and we just went there and just did what we had to do. Look, the Mount West Conference Tournament is on your home floor. Uh, yeah. So you guys yeah. legitimately have a shot. You just beat yeah. the top seed in the tournament, the last unbeaten team. What's the mood right now with this team as to whether or not you guys can go get that AQ out of the Mountain West? Yeah, I mean this gives us great um, a lot of a lot of positivity. Obviously, a good um, good outcome that that happened today. Um, it just it gives us hope. You know, it gives us the the fact that you know we we got what it takes. You know what I mean? So. Um, the only way we're gonna we're not gonna get to where we want to go is if, again, like I said, we shoot ourselves in the foot, or if we don't come out playing uh, prepared or playing as hard as we can. So um, obviously, being a team like that, you know, anything can happen. You you know, out of everybody, March things happen that are crazy, and people don't even know what's gonna happen in March. So I mean, you know, we're gonna take that and run with it. Yeah, it's on our home floor, which is great. You know, we're gonna have more fans hopefully, and and yeah, just go from there. You know, take it day by day. All right, so what was the locker room, bus, and plane ride like? Well, the locker room was there's water everywhere. There's water falling from, from the – you thought you were outside because it felt like it was raining. Um, the locker room was crazy. It was sliding, slippery everywhere. Um, the plane, it was – I couldn't go to sleep, honestly. I, was, I usually sleep on the plane. I couldn't go to sleep. I don't think anybody went to sleep. And, you know, the bus ride back here is just good energy, you know, good things to feed off of. But – you know, being a veteran guard and being just somebody that's been in this position before, you we gotta take this win. Yeah, we gotta you know dwell on it, but also we gotta reset because we still got a good team coming in here Wednesday, Boise State, and you know you're not you're not gonna this doesn't really do as much as people think right now. You know, obviously we have to beat that and, and keep on racking wounds up and go from there. So we're gonna enjoy it and then we're gonna reset. Mount St. Mary's, Texas, UNLV. Yes, you've been sir. on a journey. Uh, yeah. And you just pulled off the upset, you could argue, maybe of the season. What's yes. it been like now for the end of your career? You still have some yeah. time left here and still things to accomplish. But, you know, everything you've been through, every stop to yeah. get a win like this. Man, I mean, a lot of people don't see the stuff that goes into it, man. Like, not even just physically. Everybody knows you got to wake up early and shoot and do the stuff, you know, to get better. That's the obvious. That's That's the borderline stuff. It's more... People that you know you don't see mentally, you know the things that we we um, face every day. For example, I don't really like talking about myself, but you know got the injury in the season after Cincinnati, and I was out for like nine, ten games, and just things like that. You know can really mentally uh, rock you, you know. And um, I'm not the only guy or only athlete that's been through something like this. There's plenty of athletes out there, and I think that's the one thing a lot of people overlook, you know. Um, so the adversity obviously is there, but. You know, it's all part of the story. It's all part of the journey, and um, you know that that creates character. And I'm I'm thankful that you know it's going the way it's going right now. But I can't get too high, I can't get too low, and I'm just gonna keep rolling with the punches. Well, congratulations on a great night, and it sounds like maybe uh, more 
might occur uh, over the next couple of weeks. We'll see. We'll see. I appreciate you having me on here, man. All right. Thanks, Elijah. All right. Thank you.